Hello and welcome to a little tutorial of how to resize your photographs using format factory. Now on my desktop here I've got a folder called NASA which basically is pictures I've downloaded from NASA's website uh, reference to just getting some large images basically. Um, so let's have a look at the sort of size that we are. You know we've got this one, I mean, this one of the med is quite large. Oh, sorry, not the med, the moon. Um, 12 megapixel, 12 meg in size, which is too big for most people's use. You know. So let's go and get some software and get some software. Right, okay. There we go. A format factory. So we can see. Now, two places I generally download from is Brothersoft, because they've got a very fast FTP server for downloading. And also Softonic, they're very, very good as well. And they've got the later version 2.6. So let's go to them. And this is what Format Factory looks like. So download, download, and you should be asked in a moment, do you want to run the file? Yes. So off it comes down. It's only a small file, 41.1 meg. Uh, it expands to a bit bigger than that, but it shouldn't take more than a, a minute or so. Right, go run, and we're getting installed. So, Format Factory, useful little tool, which basically you can resize photographs, reformat movies, audio files. That will keep ticked, and that will keep ticked. Click Finish. We don't want the toolbar, so we untick that. And now uh, this is Format Factory. Right, on the left hand side here, what we've got is basically little tabs. And these are obviously the tabs, whether it's video, audio, pictures, whatever it is. Now, obviously, under the video, all to MP4, you can put any videos you want in and convert them to MP4 AVI. Same as audio, or to MP3. Useful that is, because if you've got some music from YouTube with a video and you just want to take out the video and leave the sound, just or to MP3, pop it in. You'll see how in a moment when I do it for pictures, and it will actually strip out all the video and just leave the audio. Useful picture all to JPEG, that's what we are interested in. So we click on that and output settings. Now opens a new window and we drop down and what we want for utopiacottages.co.uk are 640 by 480. We will resize these down to 323 by 315 by 250 pixels per inch and basically we have to have them bigger than what we want to resize them down to to keep the quality. So we click on that, just check you at 644.80 and press OK. Add a folder. Now, that folder which I showed you on my desktop called NASA, navigate to it, go OK. And you'll see that's virtually every sort of file you want, it will accept. It's picture files okay so there they are press ok and press start and it will just nip through quite quickly 
one of these programs I found at three o'clock in the morning one night and it's been a great tool for doing all sorts of things so it's well worth having on your desktop just to be able to use and it's free right the output folder let's just pop that there and we'll pop this here and you can see basically you take the NASA one there that was 2.83 megs here it's 99 kilobytes and the Iceland one which is here was 6.11 megs and is 149 kilobytes so it's a good uh, program now I'll show you where the output folder is kept go to my documents or on Vista documents and there's a folder called FF output so if we look in there you can see basically that's where it's pointing to anyway hopefully you've enjoyed that and it's been of some use to the people who are struggling with uploading photographs and resizing photographs on our website so keep tuned there'll be more videos coming on all sorts of things in due course so bye from utopiacottage.co.uk and thank you for watching